for the first two weeks, I barely slept at all yeah. because I was afraid that if I go to sleep, I will have like all of these horrible sights. We've lost a lot of uh, people, a lot of girls. Some of them were murdered or kidnapped. It's been a uh, scary um, time to live in Israel. She's still over there. My name is Eden Yerushalmi. Bring her home. I have a lot of friends like in the battlefield as we speak. So the terrorists came and fought with me on the, on the bomb shelter door and uh, I was able to hold him off like for five or, or ten minutes. It's been rough here in Israel. Um, what have you gone through since the October 7th massacre? Yeah, the first days it was opening Facebook and seeing all the time obituaries of people that he knew. Here it's come again. You can think and understand what I feel. My girlfriend told me like, are you okay? Are you at you're at the festival. They had a terrorist in the house. The house is destroyed. Bad wow. stories. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a dear friend. Uh, his name is Nadav Popover. He's a hostage wow. uh, uh, in Gaza. Like, if there is somebody up there, so what's going on like that? I'm trying to see what the Pope say now about this war. You're watching what the Pope is saying about Israel now? What is he saying? Nothing. Orthodox and religion, it's a matter of money and power, and that's it. To me, it sounds like you're more angry with the people who are representing God. Yeah, yeah, of course. Rather than God. Of course. For me personally, I was holding on to God throughout this whole time. Yes. It's something that I really believe can keep me sane, mentally, emotionally. Very good. And I yes. think you come United States or England? Israel. You do know that uh, we have a very, very big Christian audience. Wow. And they love Israel, and they support Israel. And you live or and you they love you? Yes? Yes. Hello, people, Christine. I uh, very want uh, told, uh, told uh, you. Tell you. Uh, you very, very uh, good people. I like you. I think many people like you. Thank you for your help. Help in the guard and help sometimes in money. Because many people think uh, you not help. And I think you very help. This man has felt your love and your kindness. Have you ever read the New Testament? What? Wow. No, but I little listen. Take a look at it. Yes, it's amazing. Uh, amazing. It teaches all about love and salvation. It? Yes? Yes. Okay. It's a Jewish book, you know. Yes. <laughs> I read. It's, if Beautiful. you told me, it's more Let's good. do it. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. And have you heard of any like miracles that have happened during this time? So much miracles. Really? There is a story on the news about a 19 years old uh, soldier, a girl that was in the one of the Mutavim. She was got she got shot, I think, 13 times. Yes. She survived. They tried to I don't know to say that, try to finish her. Yeah. And she's still alive today. And one of the craziest stories. So ha has this experience brought you closer to God or farther away from God? What has this experience done for you spiritually? I don't think that God was involved there. They are pure evil, yes. Yeah. I think the only spiritual thing I believe is in the Israeli army. We believe in God. We also actually are, are Messianic Jews. Have you ever heard of the term Messianic Jew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're Jewish believers in Jesus, that he fulfilled the prophecy and he was the Messiah. We, we find comfort in, in God's provision. And a lot of times during tragedies and pain, a lot of people spiritually turn towards something. Have you found any kind of changes in your life spiritually or practices that have either brought you closer to God or away from God because of the situation? I've been coming like, you know, ebb and flowing to and from uh, the faith, like the Jewish faith. And now I need to come back to the faith as time goes by. And, this yeah, and why, why is that? I don't need to think about that, but it's, it's been going on in my, in my soul for like maybe a decade since, uh, really? yeah, since, I mean, maybe probably the last war, the Tsuketan War. Yeah. Or less, I lost a good friend. What do you know about Jesus? Uh, he born in, he born in Bethlehem or? Nice. Yeah, born in Bethlehem and he has a long hair. And he's Jewish. Beard. Yeah, he used to be Jewish. Yeah. Used to, he still is. Born, he still is. Died, he still Jewish. is. Yeah, born, born and died. So you know that these Christians love Israel. One of the main reasons is because of Jesus. You know, he came from Israel 
to be a light to the nation, to give us hope and salvation. So us having this Jewish Messiah, it's a privilege, I think. It gives me hope, yeah. That's what I've been holding on to throughout this whole time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because the world is crazy, you know? A lot of ups and downs, and God is uh, steadfast. Yeah, it is. It's like a roller coaster.